Hey guys, what's going on? It is Simon Meets Nick here from SimonMeetsNick.com, bringing you guys another Windows Sum tutorial. This tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to enable or disable the language toolbar in Windows 7. Now, the language bar is a toolbar that appears on your desktop automatically when you add text services such as input languages, keyboard layouts, handwritten recognition, speech recognition, or input method editors, IMEs, they are known for. The language bar provides a quick way to change the input language or keyboard layout from your desktop. You can move the language bar anywhere on your screen, minimize it to the taskbar, or even hide it. Now, by default, the Windows 7 language bar is disabled. So in order for us to enable it, we have to install one or more languages. So part one is to install the language. So go ahead and go to the start and type in install LAN and under the control panel tab we can see install or uninstall display languages just go ahead and click that then go ahead and click install display languages and go to launch windows update as you can tell we have 36 optional updates are available you might have 40 updates you might have 50 you might have 75 doesn't matter just go ahead and click that and now we can see the windows 7 language pack just go ahead and uh, click on the checkbox to the left hand side and once that's done you'll see the check mark that make that tells us that we want that language to be installed I already have the Italian language installed so I don't have to go further on just go ahead and check it and press OK and it'll install I do not believe you have to reboot reboot the computer after the update is finished I am not 100% sure on that if it does then you do and you have to um, come back and watch the video from here. But anyway, once you have it installed, that's a great thing. So makes my job a whole lot easier. <laughs> anyway, once it's installed, we can go ahead and start working on displaying the language toolbar. So let's go to the start, and we're going to go ahead and type in language, and go ahead and click region and language. Let me go ahead and center this window really quick, and go ahead and uh, click on the keyboards and languages, and then click change keyboards. The text services and input language window will come up. Go ahead and actually, no, I just want to step ahead. As you can tell, we have a little panel over here called the installed services. We have Italy, which I just installed, and we have English. You might have whatever your language is automatically there. You might not have two, you might only have one. Chances are you will have one. Just go ahead and click the add button. Now, just go ahead and select the language that you just installed. So I'm going to go ahead and find Italy, I'm going to expand it, I'm going to keyboard and expand it, and I'm going to t and check check all the ones I want. And I'm just going to go ahead and press OK. Once that's done, you'll see, I'm going to move this down real quick, you'll see that it is now installed. Once that's done, go to Apply and OK, but actually you can just do Apply and then go to the language bar. This will show us how to display the language toolbar. We can either have it a floating on the desktop, docked in the taskbar, or hidden. These three options, I just leave it by default. I just focus on where I want the language bar itself. I'm going to show you how it looks like in the floating on the desktop version. So I'm just going to go ahead and check floating on the desktop, and I'm going to go to apply. And OK. And as you can tell, there it is. I can just move it wherever, put it here, expand it probably. Yeah, I bet you can expand it. But there it is. That's how you enable it. And Make it visible. I can also have it in the um, the taskbar. Just go here, dock in taskbar, apply. Okay, and there it is right there. EN stands for English, by the way. You just hit it and just go choose Italy, and you can just change languages from there. Um, so, yeah, that's basically how you enable or disable it. If you want to disable it, just go ahead and choose and right click on the language bar and just go ahead and choose close the language bar and this one will come up just go ahead and press ok and that's basically it so I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial um, please rate it, comment, subscribe it um, let me know if you guys have any questions whatsoever and if you need help doing a tutorial and like, like doing one of my tutorials or you're just having a big com a computer problem as of right now and you need assistance ASAP just go ahead and go to sunmeetsnick.com. Under the Contact Us tab, just go ahead and go to Personal Support. Now, this does cost money. It costs $10.
just right off the bat. It's very cheap. I had a lot of success with this. I actually have a lot of people that um done this for the personal support. Basically what I do is I connect to your PC with a great program called Team Viewer. Now Team Viewer is a free program. It's the all-in-one solution for remote access and support over the internet. This program establishes a connection to any PC or server around the world in a matter of seconds. You'll be seeing my every move and you can ask any questions you have while in the session. So that's a quick little plug right there. If you need personal support, it just costs you ten dollars and that's it. Um so yeah. Um other than that, I am Summon Meets Nick and I'm from summonmeetsnick.com. I am out of here.